गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टूडेज पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन फ्यूल सेल नाउ फ्यूल सेल इज अ फंटेस्टिक डिवाइस सो वॉट फ्यूल सेल इज एग्जैक्टली सो रिमेंबर द गैलवानिक सेल इन विच कंबशन ऑफ फ्यूल इज डिरेक्टली कन्वर्टेड इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज सेट टू बी अ फ्यूल सेल and one of the familiar example of fuel cell is hydrogen oxygen fuel cell now let's see what hydrogen oxygen fuel cell consist of so take a look at the construction of it so remember <coughs> hydrogen oxygen fuel cell consist of a strong steel vessel in which aqueous solution of kcl apla uh, sorry koh is used as an electrolyte remember hot and aqueous potassium hydroxide that is koh solution is used as an electrolyte then it consists of porous carbon electrodes or graphite electrodes in which platinum metal is incorporated remember platinum serves as electrode catalyst so role of platinum is to increase the electrode reaction now we need to bubble the two gases i mean from anode we need to bubble h2 gas and from cathode we need to uh, bubble what o2 gas so on bubbling of these two gases in an uh, electrolyte like koh cell produces electric current on account of the combustion of hydrogen and remember during the course of operation of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell pure water is drained out and remember that water is extremely pure and which can be drink without any further purification i mean it is extremely pure water so this is the construction of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell now let's see how cell works i mean working of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell <coughs> as we know that two electrodes are there i mean porous electrodes through which we are bubbling the two gases now remember at one of the electrodes oxidation takes place and at other electrode reduction takes place so let's see what happens so at anode anode is oxidation half cell electrode at which oxidation takes place is said to be anode so at anode what we are doing we are bubbling the hydrogen gas and bubbled hydrogen gas undergo combustion and this lead to the formation of water and electrons are liberated in the process of oxidation this happens exactly at what anode now on other hand at cathode remember cathode is an electrode at which reduction takes place so reduction half cell is nothing but cathode we are bubbling oxygen gas also so right here what happens electrons released in the process of oxidation are accepted right here and thereby formation of oh minus aqueous takes place now this is the net reduction reaction taking place in this cell when we add these two that get the net cell reaction remember cell reaction is always a redox reaction so when we add these two what happens electron electron get cancelled 4oh minus 4oh minus get cancelled twice of h2o get cancelled here remains 2 h2o so what is the net redox reaction then twice of h2 gas plus o2 gas gives twice of h2o liquid remember this is a redox reaction now the net cell reaction is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen producing water and earlier i told that the water formed or water draining out uh, 
through the cell during the course of operation is exceptionally pure so that can be drinked also so net thing is overall reaction is the combustion of hydrogen whatever we are using as a fuel and remember what exactly happens that most of the energy of formation of oh bond during the course of water is directly converted into electricity thus it uh, <coughs> large huge amount of electricity can be produced continuously using the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and uh, when so long means the time for which we supply these gases i mean hydrogen and oxygen cell continuously uh, go through the operation and continuously provide us electricity now advantages of this advantages of h2o2 fuel cell so big advantage of this is there is no discharge problem no discharge problem i mean due to continuous feeding continuously cell works and produces electricity it never undergo discharge if the supply of these gases stops then no doubt cell stop working but if at all we uh, are supplying these gases continuously then continuous production of electricity can be expected from it second big thing is no pollution it do not cause any pollution and most importantly efficiency efficiency of production production of electricity is very high is very high it is almost double than we do use previously i mean most of the power stations have efficiency of production of 40% it has efficiency of 70% almost double than that now besides this few drawbacks are there so what are the drawbacks of h2o2 fuel cell now very first thing is practically its potential is less than 1.23 actually calculated potential comes 1.23 for this cell but practically that potential is less than 1.23 volt so it is very important to note what practically potential is less than calculated that is 1.23 volt second very important thing is the cost of production of hydrogen gas is very high and that is not affordable so cost of production production of h2 gas is high this is another problem and severe problem is electrode catalyst that is platinum is a precious metal and that is damn expensive so electrode catalyst electrode catalyst is expensive so these are the problems using dry uh, sorry h2o2 fuel cell but in future h2o2 fuel cell may be used in the large scale now what are the applications of it fuel cells have number of potential applications now very first application is it is used as a source of water and electricity as well in space so in space as a source of water and electricity this is very important to note and uh, 
इन फ्यूचर इट मे बी यूज फॉर हॉस्पिटल्स आई मीन दंबर ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन आर गोइंग थ्रू एंड इन फ्यूचर्स मे बी द फ्यूल सेल्स Conveniently used for domestic purpose, and uh, it may play the vital role to provide us electricity in bulk. Thank you very much.